Hi everyone, so this is going to be a quick room tour. My room is still unfinished, but I wanted to show you guys my progress. This is like my baby. I've never had like a room of my own and now I have like my own makeup filming area. So I still have to get a few things, but I wanted to share the pieces that I do have and I guess my style. So uh, yeah, let's begin. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you is this antique mirror and these candelabras. Now, this is pretty much all that I have hanging on my walls besides this little guy that's on my door. I, uh, I want to hang up a bunch of antique photos and antique frames and also hang up my vintage purses and that's pretty much going to be my wall decor because I want this room to be all about vintage, all about antiques because that's what I love. And so, I need to get some candles for my candelabras. They are brass, they're pretty heavy. And then I have this mirror that has been painted with white chalk paint. So this was gold, but um, it's now white. And I just, I love the detailing on this mirror and it's quite big. So there is that. So my walls are white and then gray. And don't mind my paint job. I need to uh, clean up some of the gray paint. So right here I have another vintage picture. And I, I just love this because the frame is beautiful. The frame alone I fell in love with. And uh, yeah, that's what I have on my door for now. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's uh, a piece that was made in Italy. I should also mention that I am going to be getting a dresser that's also gray and white that will match perfectly and that's what's going to go right in this area right below the mirror. Okay, so on this wall, here you see the door again and this wall is completely, completely pebble gray and this is the desk and hutch that I got off of Craigslist and I paid $140 for it, which I think is a steal because it also came with the chair as well. And I think it's a beautiful piece. I did paint it because I did feel like it was outdated. It was very French provincial, which is my style. However, I still thought that it needed, it needed some love and just a new paint job and just to change the hardware a little bit. So that's what I did. And um, if I have a before picture, I will, I will uh, put it in this video so you can see what it looked like before. But uh, basically, I painted this entire furniture piece plus the chair with spray paint. I used Rust-Oleum in uh, heirloom white. And uh, basically, everything on this desk is pretty much from antique stores because that's what I love to collect. And I love to mix metals. So you will see that that's pretty much what I did. I mixed metals, silver, gold, brass. On the top shelf, I have this little silver basket. And I just, I don't know, I love the detail on it. And it is empty right now. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it, but that's what I have. And I have Marceline because who doesn't love Marceline? And then um, I have another silver basket as well. This also has like a floral print to it. I don't have anything in this either. I just like the way that it looks. On this shelf, I have a little antique. This is actually an antique toaster rack <laughs> and it's a swan. And I love swans, so I had to get it. You can totally tell that it's an antique. It has a little green felt in the bottom. And you can actually pull this out. And sometimes I do that and I put like my jewelry. But uh, that's how I have it now. And you can also like put uh, like eyeshadow palettes in here if they're skinny enough, which I've done in the past. And then I have this little glass crystal container that I actually got from Georgette and it looks like a little Hershey 
think it's so cute. And I put my rings in there. I have this antique book. It's 101 famous poems from the early 1900s. I have more antique books that I need to put um, in this little hutch. But that's what I have for now. And then I have this little elephant lighter that I thought was really cute because it's brass as well. And this little box that I also got from Georgette. And then I have this brass, I think it's a antelope. I'm not even sure what kind of animal this is. Yes, that's pretty bad, but uh, <laughs> it's beautiful. And it's from India, and it's also a antique. It's quite heavy. And then I have this. This little guy with a little Buddha is not an antique, but I like how old it looked. I actually got that from Walmart. And I put my pins on here, but um, this is actually an incense holder. Down here, I have another brass tin, and I just think it's so cute. So there's the detail on that. It has little legs. I just think it's adorable. And then this is another antique. You can pull this out. And also, I want pops of blue in my room as well. So there's that. I just have a bunch of my jewelry. This is a antique Christmas ornament. It's my favorite Christmas ornament. So I wanted to place it here so I can see it all year round. It's quite old and quite fragile. Here I have a Amrita Singh necklace in blue lapis. And here I just have like a bunch of random stuff. And then here I have a vintage purse. It's beautiful, I love it. It's a mesh purse. And then I have uh, my little Snow White makeup bag that I have like a bunch of stuff to um, reorganize. And then down below, I used to have these for my lipsticks, but I actually ended up spray painting them. I spray painted this one in gold and now I use them for like my nail polishes and these fit my Julep nail polishes perfectly. And then I have, these are actually coasters, they're antique coasters, and they have butterflies, like actual butterflies, um, encapsulated. So I put my rings on here, or in here. And then I have this antique little, I guess, I don't know, jar if you will, and I put just like cotton pads for when I uh, do my nails and this is a antique silver brush it's real silver it's beautiful love the details on this as well I collect antique brushes and then I have another coaster with a different butterfly and let me just take this out of the way I have more nail polishes I decided to paint this one silver because again I like mixing metals so I just have more of my nail polishes and I did throw away a lot of my nail polishes that I was not using and then I have this I don't know exactly what I'm gonna put in here but this is a antique fruit bowl this is glass and it's beautiful and it has a cherub as you can see the little cherub there and I believe this is like a koi fish. I'm not even sure, but I love how patina it is. And this is marble. This is a super heavy piece, but I had to have it. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to put in here. If you guys have any suggestions as to what exactly I can put in here, let me know. And yeah, so I basically also spray painted the hardware. Silver and gold, silver and gold, gold and silver. And that's what I did. So there's that. I want to add a few more pieces and probably take away a few pieces. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. But the chair was in pretty, pretty bad shape. 
and I ended up taking the paint that I used to paint the wall and painting the chair. I sanded it down. I also sanded down um, this piece of furniture. You definitely have to sand your furniture unless you're using chalk paint. And I just put my uh, old pillowcase. I still need to uh, reupholster this, but for now I just placed that there. And, oh my god, these pillows I'm obsessed with, obsessed with, I have a bunch of them. This is the Raccoon Pillow in Blue, and it's from the company, you can see it there, the Rise and Fall. And uh, I think I'm going, I'm so in love with these that I think I'm going to get another one and do like a giveaway. Because I love these pillows so much, and they're organic cotton, they're fabulous. And then on this side, I have this antique chair. I'm not exactly sure what the name of this chair is called, but I just love the detail of this chair. And it's just so regal. I just, I love it. So ornate. And uh, I, I paid a good, good price for this, for the quality. And um, I also have another pillow from the Rise and Fall. And of course I had to get a white rabbit. And I just, again, I love the detail in these pillows. They're beautiful and they come in so many different animals, so many different colors. Um, I have so many of these. I just, I love collecting these pillows. I'm obsessed. So that's what I have going on. So that's what you will see in the background. So moving on to the next wall, as you can see, I don't have any curtains just yet because I haven't found the perfect curtain to go with this room, but I did go ahead and paint the window seal the same gray just for a really nice contrast. So here, again, the walls are bare. I don't really have anything on the walls just yet, but I have this antique nightstand and I just fell in love with it because of its color. It's a beautiful, rich chestnut and I wanted a small little table to incorporate some of my other antiques like this lamp and I know some of you guys will completely hate this lamp or maybe all of you guys will hate this lamp because it's kind of creepy but I love it and here you see this woman that's madly in love with her turkey and she's about to make out with it <laughs> And she has this other turkey on the side, and I don't know, I just loved it, so I had to have it. And it's signed, and the lampshade looks kind of dingy. I may change out the lampshade, but other than that, I absolutely love it. And it's also Italian, if I didn't say that. And then in the center, I have this French provincial tray. And it has like these three little roses and it's really, really pretty. And on it, I have another antique brush. And I just love the detail on this brush. It's really, really old. And even the handle is really, really pretty. And then I have this corsage that I got from my boyfriend on uh, my senior prom so there's that and then I have this Italian ceramic vase and again I wanted to incorporate deep blues so I thought that this was a really pretty vase and uh, I like the detailing on the vase so that's what I have going on in this wall so on this wall, it is also bare. I have another window. And this is where my vanity is. This is where I film also, there's my tripod. And I absolutely love my vanity. This is also a antique piece, it's solid wood. And I got this off of Craigslist. And the lady had already painted it in a chalk paint. This is Paris Gray from Anne Sloan. And these scrolls that you see here, or the stencils, this is from Anne Sloan as well in the shade Off-White if you're interested. And I just love the detailing in this piece because it has these beautiful moldings, as you can see. 
on each side and I just I just absolutely love the shape of it and it holds a lot of my makeup I'm not going to show you the inside of the vanity because it's not organized right now but I just wanted to show you it because it's absolutely beautiful and you can definitely find wonderful pieces on Craigslist so here I have this silver tray and this is actually real silver it's another antique and I just love the way that it looked you know I could definitely polish this up but I actually like how old it looks and I don't want it too shiny and then I have this little trinket box that's also silver it's real silver and I love the inside of it you can tell it's very old and I just put my camera controller in here so I don't lose it because there has been so many times where I cannot find it so I love this little piece and then here this is actually a antique ash tray but I use this as like my little coaster if I have like a cold drink that um, I'm drinking while I'm doing my makeup and I don't want to ruin the wood so I just put it in here and then I also use it for my little candles and then I have this mirror here and this mirror doesn't look too old it looks like something that you would find like in home goods however it is very old and if I flip it over you can see just how old it is it's very like dingy looking and you can use this many ways you can hang this up you can use this as your vanity mirror so there's that and then there's these two lamps that are also antiques with their original lampshade and I just fell in love with the color because it's like an antique silver and it goes really good with my vanity and I love the detailing as well and then also the detailing on the lampshades because of the beading it's very very pretty and then it has like this really pretty topper as well so I just love that overall I just I love my vanity space and in my desk, if you're wondering, that's where I put all of my skincare and all of my nail polishes and things like that. And there's my actual mirror that I use to uh, put on my makeup. And that's what I use to film. So that completes the room tour, guys. Oh, 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 I cannot forget this piece. This is the chair that goes to my vanity. And um, this was also painted with a chalk paint and also like sanded down so it looks very like shabby chic. And she reupholstered it as well. And I believe this is also in the old white. It's either old white or just Anne Sloan's just white, like stark white. So there's that. I have my little iPad and it's on Pandora on the Robin station because that's my favorite station to listen to. So I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.